The next parameter in the machining data tab is the initial stock. This is the finishing allowance that has reminded after the previous machining. The prefield of this parameter is blanked. To activate this in the stock removal section, we must specify number of cuts for machining this allowance. This number must be greater than 1. Let's type here for example 3. Okay, and let's type in here for example 5 and let's calculate the tool buff. Okay. Okay. This means that we remove the initial 5 mm allowance in 3 equal passes. Here, as in the case of machining in the z-axis, each pass can have the same width or we can also determine the width of the first and the last pass. Okay, we can do it here, equal or specified first cut and last cut. What can this option be used for? When preparing the formers for another processing, for example on a saw machine, we often leave a finishing allowance for the machining. It happens that allowances are large and machining in one pass could be problematic. That's why it's worth splitting it into several passes. As in the z-axis, we divide the contour machining into several passes, so in the x-y axis it means uh, sides, we can also divide the machining. In the case of unevenly cut elements, to increase security, we can also determine the width of the first pass. We can set a small value to protect against the full width of the tool, and by entering a small value for the last pass, we will get a better wall finish. Okay, let's type here for example 7 and here 0 0.2, here 0 0.1. Okay. Okay, this is the last pass with 0 0.1 material to remove from the wall.